Guy potentially ruined his life for telling me to kill myself. I'm not entirely sure how correct this story is for this subreddit. But it might fit. I work for an IT company that does tech support. We receive calls for help, we try to help. This guy called up asking for help to remove a piece of software that required administrator rights. Pretty standard, nothing special. However, the computer he was requesting help with was his own personal computer. Obviously, we don't have any access or control over random people's computers. I have zero way I can help him without the admin account, and he said he doesn't know the account. The software was some kind of parental management software that restricts him from doing things. This guy is in his early 20s. I know this because we can see the details of the people that call us on our system. So. Kind of hilarious, he has this software installed. Anyway, after I tell him that I cannot help him, he ends up telling me that I work for a trash company and that I should kill myself. I don't even respond, and he hangs up the phone. Now. Obviously the calls are recorded, and I'm not going to just ignore what just happened. I tell my manager the story. He listens to the phone call. My manager then calls the liaison for the company he called from. They find out that this guy is an intern at the company. He now no longer works for the company. During the call, they decide to get the CEO on the phone and tell him what happened. Shortly after that call, the CEO lets us know that he called the university that the guy is currently going to. The university has now dropped him from all his classes. This guy has now lost his intern job, and lost his placement in university, all because he told me to kill myself on the phone. I imagine this is a man-child that's so used to saying things like that on video games and on Reddit that he just has no filter. Sounds like we discovered why he had parental locks, such an impressionable ass shouldn't have free reign of the internet. I was working in tech support. We had a client get so mad he said he was going to come and blow up our building if we didn't fix his issue that day. The poor phone support person was so upset. We fired that client the same day I feel your pain and I'm glad you escalated that. Note to self-refrain from telling tech support personnel to kill themselves. Clapping hand sign what a masterpiece I am complete. There's a reason he had parental control or nanny software on his computer. Now we know why there were parental controls on his computer. You did the right thing. You never know what people are going through, and that one act of spite may be what breaks the camel's back. Conversely, a single smile may be all somebody needs to feel good about themselves. Some people are just trash. That boy is one of such people. Unfortunately, he is unlikely to accept blame and responsibility and will probably twist things to fit his perspective. Fucked around, found out. Oh, damn, he was dumb or arrogant enough to say that to someone, while calling from the compute was interning at. Wow, results are so very satisfying, and couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, lol. So glad you've got management who have your back like that. I'm here for it. We should hold more people accountable. That's not revenge, that's justice. F that dude, who the hell says that to another human being. I've worked customer service for most of my career and have been treated pretty freaking badly by a vast majority of them but I have never experienced that. Good on you for telling a manager and I hope that dude either learns his lesson or freaking rots. I'm a woman getting a justice boner. Possibly the first time in his life that his shitty personality draws actual consequences. If that's how he talks to you, it eventually would have caught up with him anyway somewhere else. Damn what an ass of a user. Incredible. Too many people think they can get away with saying whatever they want just cause they are speaking to someone in customer service tech support whatever else. Play stupid games win stupid prizes triangular flag on post smiley face. 
I love that you assigned the blame correctly in your title you did not ruin him, he ruined things for himself by being an asshole. Damn they got the CEO involved. Damn the CEO actually cared. Damn that guy just messed up his life. This is more karmic justice than revenge, but nevertheless good for you OP also good that everyone even the CEO was behind you on this. Ah, who knew actions had consequences relieved face. I love it. Bravo OP, 1. You absolutely do not deserve that kind of harassment, and especially not while trying to help someone at work. 2. You never know what vulnerable person he could have said that to on the wrong day. If it gives you satisfaction to think you ruined his life, good, but I'm of the opinion he ruined it himself. What a deal hole. Karma did the work for you OOF. The guy is in his twenties and apparently still living with his parents and using a computer that they probably bought for him and it's set up with the kind of parental controls that are appropriate for an adolescent. I guess when your parents continue to treat you like a 12-year-old when you're well into your twenties then you never learn to develop the skills adults need to operate independently and deal effectively with other people. It should come as no surprise that he reacted to an inconvenient fact so childishly. Huh? The university dropped him from all his classes? Universities don't kick out people who have done far worse, like rapists. I'm surprised. I know this because we can see the details of the people that call us on our system. He was on his personal computer. How do you get details of people who call in? Whole ESHIT LMAO. Karma. That guy after finding out about the consequences of his actions fucking pussy snowflake liberals cancelling me because they got their feelings hurt, this is fascism 1. LOL love it. That's what he deserves. This was such a satisfying read. Hell yeah I hate people like that he got what he asked for. Seems appropriate he lost everything. Completely inappropriate and he needs a life lesson. For the university to drop him so fast, I'm gonna assume they already knew about the guy and were just waiting for a reason? Probably is an ass to everyone he meets. The university I work for would never kick someone out because of that comment. There is a process with paperwork filing and a hearing for all disciplinary actions. Fucking excellent. You can't just go around telling people to fucking kill themselves. One of those people may actually do it. Words mean things, you know? That's what's wrong with today's society. No matter how frustrated I got. I would never say that. It wouldn't even cross my mind. So yeah he is a cunt and deserved his consequences. You did what was right, the authority took actions out of proportion. A.W. shucks, if it isn't the consequences of of my own actions. You reap what you sow. Wow that was pretty much instant karma. And what happened to him was what he deserved for what he said. Good, we need to bring back shaming and consequences. Good, people do trash shit like that because they get away with it. This guy has now lost his intern job, and lost his placement in university, all because he told me to kill myself on his phone. Good. Telling people to kill themselves even as a joke is disgusting. What if that was the final straw for that person and then they actually did? I hope he has learnt some kind of lesson here. Poked the dog, and got bit. He deserved it. Good. Vile actions should have repercussions. I hope he knows why he is suddenly persona non grata both at his former workplace and at his university. Otherwise, he won't learn to have some self-control regarding letting ugly words come out of his mouth. I'd call this more than petty, but good on YA. Yeah, that is more than petty revenge. This is simply real-life consequences for stupid actions. My only regret is that you were not able to tell him, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, 